What's going on, everyone? Crazy Russian 86 here, drinking Bud Light Strawberry Seltzer from Dazani Bottle from the same location. I just paused my video. I made, I'm making another video because, you know, the video has been getting too long and I'm trying to make shorter videos so people are not going to get annoyed with my long-winded videos even though it's hard for me not to make them because of who I am and the way I am. But anyway, I was talking about that Mr. Diamond King was trying to make a video documentary on Todd and he already made the trailer. Well, this is what I'm going to say about it. As people are cl clearly watching me, they want to change me, they want to change my ways. All I'm going to say about this, it's none of your fucking business. Get out of my face, get out of my business, I do what I want. You leave me the fuck alone, that's it. Quit fucking stacking me on the internet. And I understand you think that what I'm doing is not the right thing. You're treating me like I don't understand when I do. But I just don't care because I just want to do whatever makes me happy. Now, I don't think you should lie, be lying on me because even though I'm making videos on my car and I could be drinking videos, but I don't drive, so you cannot say I'm drinking and driving. It's number one. Number two, I just like to be creative when it comes to doing things because this is what I like to do. Number three, I'm not bothering nobody. So what the fuck? Don't treat me like I don't understand. I do what I want. I used to do that before on Malted Freedom Fighter channel and nobody give the fuck. So what the fuck, you know, like, leave me alone, mind your own fucking business, okay? You may think that what I'm doing is weird, but you know, you have no right to judge me, okay? It's my fucking business, okay? Leave me alone. Watching that car is big dude over there, but it's not a tow truck, so I'm good. I'm just trying to enjoy my fucking day, you know, just get the buzz, you know. It's been a while since I've been getting, you know, any alcohol, so, but, you know, it's fun, you know, like, when you just, like, relax your mind and get buzzed and then you edit the video. It's like the best feeling in the world ever. But, you know. The rifle shooter. If you got patience, watching on my video for like four minutes, now I got a little bit of a buzz going on. So, but I'm still like in the first stage. I'm not really drunk and I'm not gonna be drunk anyway. Cause it's not what I want. Cause I need to work later on tonight. So I'm not really getting drunk. But um, I've been talking about, I wanted to say what I think, which I don't like about America, which I've been making about these videos like that years ago. So it's kind of a rerun, but now since I've been here for 14 years in the United States of America, 
which is close to half of my lifetime. Because I was born and raised in St. Petersburg, Russia. I was there for 19 years. Now I've been in the Columbus, Ohio for 14 years. So now I have pretty good idea and I'm older and wiser in some ways. And um, I can tell you the things which I do and don't like about America. And I'm gonna do it this time, not in a kind of derogatory way like I did before. I'm not gonna be like putting America down or anything like that. I'm gonna talk without any kind of profanities, just like real opinion. No offense, no insults, no put downs, none of that, okay? I'm just gonna be stating what I, how I feel, you know? Even though I'm a little bit buzzed, but I'm not that drunk, but I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna state how I feel. Obviously, since I've been living in America for 14 years, that means that, you know, I feel like there's a good reason for it. I definitely think that when it comes to money making and stuff, America is the way to go. But, there are certain things which I not still don't agree. And I feel the same way as I felt before, you know, so FYI, but, you know. And I know you fellow Americans are probably going to agree with me on that. I don't like that in America, you know, people who like way over 21, and you can see that people way look, look way over 21. You still want to fucking ID them. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Oops, I said no profanities, and here I am, cussing. <laughs> well, it's July, right? And I'm a Jew, and I tend to lie, so here we go. Even though I'm pretty honest, Jew. More or less. But, um, yeah. What I want to say? Yeah, like, I feel like it's not reasonable, it's like an overkill. Um, I've been not only to Russia, but I've been to other European countries who don't were there. The drinking age could be 21, but if you look 30, nobody's gonna fucking ID you. Like, come on, look at my face. I look like I'm in my late 20s, early 30s, right? Look at me, you're gonna see that I look way over 21, right? Shit, I'm actually gonna be 34 in December. And you can look at me, you can see that. Like if I'm gonna come to the store, clearly you can see that I look over 21. But they say, oh, we ID everybody under 40. Like why? Like really? Like. I get it, like, when you like, like, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, you could mistake somebody like that, like. But if you're talking, like, late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, what's the point? Like, you can look at the man who's, like, fucking 40-year-old coming there with the teenagers. Are you going to really ID that guy? Like, really? I feel like that's stupid. It's too much, you know? Why do you need to ID somebody like that? Also, speed limits. I understand that you don't want to speed for the safety, but sometimes it's also an overkill too. Because like, let's say, there is a night and there is no cars on the road and you're smart and you want to go 80 miles an hour because you want to drive fast. You're not being that safe. You're being safe because you know what you're doing. And there is no cars around. But, because it's a violation of the law, cops have a right to give you a ticket. Because speed limits are everywhere. For your safety, but... Times is getting too much. Also, number three. 
making videos everywhere. Like I'm making point right now, I'm making the drinking videos in my car. I'm not driving, my car is off. And uh, I'm gonna make make a point. I'm gonna prove you that it's off. Because I have this option. So here we go, see? There is no signals anywhere, completely off, right? Like power button is off, everything is off. Oops, I shouldn't be doing that, but I don't care. Everything is off, right? Everything is off. Everything is dark, everything is off. Now, Stupid people like the real PewDiePie. She, she's not stupid, but and there was a couple times that she got me on some shit. But what she is doing, she shouldn't be doing what she is doing because that's kind of fucked up. She's not helping me. She's hurting me. I understand everything, but you know, like sometimes, like some people want to just like enjoy their life and do some things, which is like you know, like for example, when I was in my mid twenties. I wanted to make drinking videos, I wanted to drink all kinds of malt liquor, I wanted to do it in different spots, different places. I thought it was cool, right? But it's not legal. So see, but it's exotic and it's cool. But according to American law, this is not something you shouldn't be doing. You should be doing. And that's kind of a problem because like, you know, like sometimes things which are illegal, outrageous, this is a cool thing to do. But, and this is different, but it's not allowed. See, it's a kind of a problem, you know. But good thing I have a water bottle, so nobody can really say anything. So maybe I should just take a walk. Just to be different, you know. Get my fucking camera off of the hook. Take a walk around the area. Just, you know. Actually, yeah, I'll take a walk. I don't care. I'll take a walk. Ugh. Holding a beer in one hand. Well, and people gonna think it's water anyway. I don't care. So, it's about where I live. And um, it's my car, people. As you notice here, it's kind of damaged right now. I'm about to fix it, but how that happened? You see, actually, you see right there. And it's like about $1,500 repair. Now, there are some stupid people out there who were thinking there's something wrong with my life. But this is, I was actually putting tape over there, okay? So there's nothing wrong with this slide. We're just putting tape over here, over there. Because at some point, I have a thing. But you know, when I hit a big dog, or some people say it was a deer, I've just been putting tape all over, you know. Like even right here, I put the shit ton of tape just to hold that, you know, because it's not gonna drag. It actually serves the purpose. And I'm planning on fixing this car, already got some parts. I had another part, I already have one part in the garage to fix it. But, um, you know, I have a couple parts, I have a part in the garage to fix it. But I won't take my time because my money is not that great. I don't have a lot of money on my bank account. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm thinking like, you know what? The car is drivable. I don't care. You know, I'm just going to leave it alone. Till I'm going to collect more money so I have money to, you know, fix the car and do other things on top of that so I could have some savings as well, you know? Ah. 
shout out to all of the people who are watching my fucking brilliant videos. Thank you very much for your support. I'm happy to be doing this outdoor video right by my car. I know I've been a weirdo, but everybody knows I'm a fucking weird dude. How do I feel about it? I don't care. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want. As long as you pay your bills, and you take care of business, you can do whatever the fuck you want. And fuck everybody who tells you you're weird, you're creepy, whatever. You're nobody to judge me. Only God can judge me, okay? Nobody else. No man has no fucking right to judge me. That's it. Nobody had no right to judge me. Period. And I can... Actually, this is not a good place to put my, you know, thing in. But, um... I'm just thinking, where else can I put my thing in? You know, like... Like... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now oh, it's a nice view right there. Red car, blue sky. And you see what the short says? It says can, right? <laughs> can. <laughs> you can do whatever. But. You know. And there is this guy over there probably listening to what I'm saying, but which I don't like, but again, it's his property anyway. So there's like a, no control over it. But see, you cannot do what you want. See, like there is a lot of restrictions. There is other people who are around you. There are laws and rules and regulations. And some people say, oh, it's land of the free. You just have to follow the laws. But what does it really mean? It really means that, oh, you're free, you can do whatever you want, but there is this law, this law, this law, this law, and then you realize that, am I really free? What can I do? I have to just do A, B, C, D, and if I don't do it, I'm gonna get punished. So the, there is no freedom, you know? And, 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 and do you know, what if I want to do the job, what if I want to do things, right, which are against the law? But I can still achieve the results. And this is how I want to do things, right? But then you're going to say, oh, you're crazy, you're weird, you this, you that. But like, why not? Hey, it's my life. I can do what I want. But then there is laws. And I'm like, I didn't subscribe to these laws. This laws were forced on me. I didn't agree to that. Nobody asked me if I want to live like that. Nobody asked me anything, you know? So what the fuck? So, speaking of freedoms, no, no one is free, okay? Nobody is free. Freedom doesn't exist. We just have to do things to survive. And why we live in? What we here for? We here for to do the job, to procreate, to make new generations of workers, and this and that. We're here to change the world, to build something, to change something, to manifest, right? So let's be honest about it, you know? A lot of people thinking, they're fucking living in illusion, thinking the life was all about like sex or money or whatever. No, we're here to change the world, to manifest, to do something. And the problem is, Whenever you want to do what you really want to do, whatever it makes you happy, everybody's going to hate you. And people are going to say, oh, we hate you because you're weird, you're crazy, you're creepy. No. People hate you because you're not like everybody else. That's why people hate you. Not because you're wrong, not because you're dangerous, not because you're thinking of hurting other people. No. People hate you. Because you want to live how you want to live. And you don't give a fuck. That's why people hate you. There's a real reason why people hate you. Not because you're imbecile. Not because you're stupid. Not because you're crazy. No. People hate you because you want to do what you really want to do in your life. That's why people hate you. Okay? And that's the real reason why people hate you. So. And that's pretty sad, you know.
Yep. I like the view, by the way, the blue skies and the red car. I should have done it from the get-go. Hey, I wish I could just do my video drinking malt liquor like that. Oh my God, that would be great. But I have to worry about all these motherfuckers out there calling the cops on me. That's the real problem. Otherwise, I could totally make a malt liquor video like this. I think that would be great. It's way better than doing it fucking indoors, the same boringest place. But see, people don't look at it like that. They look at it, oh, you're breaking the law. Let me call the cops. The cops come in and like, let's take this motherfucker out. He's breaking the law. He's drinking malt liquor on the, on the air. Let's fucking handcuffed him. Shit, how could be cool it would be? I'm gonna go to jail and I'm gonna make him malt liquor videos in jail. <laughs> and upload it on YouTube. Please click on the ads. Give me more money so I can get bailed out, you know. I need thousands of dollars to get a bail, you know. Click on my ads. <laughs> That's the only way I can make money right now. I'm in the jail making out liquor videos. How about that, motherfuckers, you know. Thoughts of my subscribers. I really need that break, you know. This fucking shit hits me hard, you know, like I like it the way it feels. What a bottle, the sunny lemon. <laughs> swill, 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 motherfuckers. Ah, feels so good. I actually enjoy it, you know, like the drink was great. I like it because it doesn't taste like alcohol, doesn't look like alcohol, sneaks up on you, gives you good feeling, and tastes great too. It will taste like strawberry, you know. So it's like, it's like a great thing, you know, like, and there is another drink I wanted to try. They've been selling it at Speedway but you know there is this it's not an alloy drink but it's like drink with their electrolytes and alcohol which is like healthy and have some kind of alcoholic content at the same time you know i'm actually all for those drinks like that because i feel like it's actually a good idea that you have drinks like that because they it doesn't look like alcohol doesn't taste like alcohol but gives you buzz and it tastes great you know i think that this is like the best thing so, so I really like the idea. I think that this is wonderful that we have this kind of opportunity of drinks like that. I think it's great. Gives you buzz, looks innocent, tastes great, doesn't taste like alcohol, but you can feel in the creation, you feel like, you know, you have this light-headed feeling where it's like you just don't give a fuck about nothing else and you just like, helps you, you know, get your mind off of things because like, my mind has been like, my mental state, even though it's been better than it's been like years ago in some ways, but, you know, like, I still feel sometimes, you know, like angry and enraged about things and I still have these thoughts so, you know, alcohol, I really need some alcohol, a little bit of weed, you know, to just uh, calm myself down and, you know, relax. Because I have a lot of thoughts, you know, especially when people treat me some type of way, you know, that makes me really angry. Like, when people treat me like fucking stupid and they trying to prove everybody is something wrong with me and not, not letting me live how I want to live. You know, I know that I'm right, so that's why I get angry and shit. But, you know, I have to deal with all kinds of people. And, you know, I just don't agree with the idea that, you know what, if you're doing things differently, everybody should think that there is something wrong with you. Like, like what the fuck? This is, this is actually what I don't like about American mentality. But, like, why, if you're doing things in a conventional way, but it works, 
people should say, ah, there is something wrong with this guy. Like, why? Why can't you just say, you know what, this guy is trying to do the best he can. This is how he rolls with the poor guy alone. Yeah, maybe he breaks some rules here and there, but he takes care of business. So who gives a fuck, right? But like some people, they just don't want to do it. You know, it's just like, look, we all have different abilities. You know, we all different, but like white people can't live how they want to live. See, but. You know, it's just what it is. Because we, we, we don't live in a perfect world. Whatever is good for me can be bad for somebody else. We kind of, we all step on each other's toes. So, but we still can be reasonable and understand each other. And think not laws, but think, okay. Is this functional? Functionable? Is this workable? That's it. And sometimes, yeah, I get it. like there are certain laws I may not agree with, but I'm still gonna follow. It. Like for example, like I don't speed a lot anymore. Only speed where there's like no cops. But in certain areas, I'm definitely gonna drive a speed limit because I understand there's gonna be cops around. There's other cars, there are other people, see? And I don't want to, you know, spoil my driving record to other things. But then again, when people are targeting you, that's not cool. When people are showing like, oh, this guy doesn't understand. Let's just give him a lesson, show him what's up. Like, motherfuckers, I understand everything, but let me live how I want, okay? Stop fucking targeting me. I don't need that. Look. Let me live how I want to live, okay? It's my life. If I'm wrong, let me face the consequences. But, you know, don't fucking prove me anything by, like, spoiling my life on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Look. That's my point. Life is short. I'm an old man, I still make dumb mistakes, but I learn. I'm getting better because of my age. The Jesus' age, mind you, 33 years old, going on 34 in December. And I don't feel the same, I don't act the same, but I'm not deleting my videos. I'm still keeping the memories going, because I don't care. Because this life is all about leaving legacy after yourself. It's all about when you die and you become a ghost, you're not going to be able to communicate, but maybe if you're going to exist, you're going to be like looking to talk, oh my God, these people love me so much. Now I'm dead. See, that's the point of life. It's to live how you want and leave the legacy after yourself. Leave kids after yourself and leave the memory. Otherwise, if you cannot do two of these things, your life and they work for shit. And all these laws, all these rules, fuck all of that. Follow it just to get by, but I have no regards for that type of shit. You know why? Because I want to live how I want to live. Because the kids and the legacy, these are two important things in life. Everything else is just a bunch of BS. Everything else is just a distraction. But like I said, if you want to do what you want to do, everybody's going to hate you. But I don't care about the hate anymore. Because if you're different, for whatever reason, people's going to hate you, people's going to think there's something wrong with you. But I'm not going to give a fuck because there is no right or wrong. If you want to be like not everybody else, people's going to find out what's wrong with you anyway. You're going to be wrong anyway. People's going to hate you anyway. Martin Luther King's been hated. Malcolm X's been hated. Tupac's been hated. Lisa Left Eye Lopez's been hated. Kennedy's been hated. Eminem's been hated. Elon Musk's been hated. Everybody 
who did something has been hated. And they only been loved after they've been dead. So, what the fuck? Who loves you? Nobody loves you. People love you because you're every part of the crowd. Well, if you're part of the crowd, news flash. You're gonna die, nobody's gonna give a fuck about you. So, what's the point of being part of the crowd? Crowd is stupid, crowd is always wrong. So, it's always, be to, it's always good to be different. Because being different, when you're dead, people's gonna love you. When you're alive, people's gonna hate you. But, as long as I'm doing what I think is right for me, I don't care about what people think. I used to care, but I don't care anymore. Because, what's the point of caring? You care, you try to fit in, you're not gonna fit in anyway, it's only gonna cost you more. People are gonna ridicule you, people's gonna make fun of you, people are gonna steal your money. And you're gonna be like crying, like, people, 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 I wanna be one of you, I wanna run with the gang. Well, that's part of the problem of wanting something which is not what you're supposed to want. Just like Lisa Lefta Lopez said in her songs, I believe in me. The only problem you get when you go somewhere where you don't belong, right? See, that's what it is. You get in trouble because you do something which you're supposed to do. You do some, you go somewhere where you, where you don't belong. That's a problem right there. So, yes, it's, it's gonna be difficult to be authentic, but it's the best way because otherwise you're gonna get in trouble. If you do what you want, everybody's gonna hate you. They're gonna make it hard for you, but at least you will get somewhere. But if you're gonna kiss up, yeah, people are gonna love you, but then you're gonna hate yourself. You're gonna be miserable. And at the end of the day, it's only gonna be worse. That's the lesson I learned in life. It took me years to figure it out, but see, we're not here to live an easy life. We're here to work hard, to strive, to struggle, to succeed, to take care of business, right? It's like a purgatory, you know, where you work hard and then you get reward for hard work. We're not here to fucking get rewards all the time. See, that's what people don't understand. But now I understand, that's why I don't care. You know, and that makes me a tease because I don't care. I don't care about what people think of me. I don't care about the laws. I don't care about the rules. All I care about is what I want and how I want to live my life and what I want to do. And I know that because of what I want to do, I'm going to get in stakes with other people. I'm going to get in trouble. And there is going to be people who would want to kill me or whatever. But I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want anyway. Because this is what's going to make me happy. This is what's going to keep me going. This is what is my legacy. This is what I'm all about. This is what my life is all about. And that's it. So I don't really give a fuck about people liking me, what people think of me, or people like, people hate me or not. Because sure, people's gonna hate me. If I do what I want, people's gonna hate me anyway. So, but I'm not gonna care. Because why should I care? I shouldn't care. I should only care about my happiness, right? I should only care about my legacy, right? So why should I care about what people think about me? Of course, people are gonna think about me that I'm crazy, stupid, weird, creepy, whatever. But I don't give a fuck because I'm here for me. I'm here to leave a legacy in this world, not to be a kiss up. Because if I'm gonna give kiss up, it's gonna only make things worse. That's it. And I'm out. All the best to you guys. Peace out. Later.